I feel like this is gonna be such a hard film to video. Wait, I feel like this is gonna be a really hard video to film. Just because there's so much information out there, there's so much that is personal to each of you, that I think like me saying to you, these are how you found out your casting type, is so difficult because everybody is different. So there's only so specific that I can be, if that makes sense. But I hope this helps anyway. I've had a few people ask me to do a casting type video. I know that there are a few others on the internet. I actually haven't seen any of them. If people's opinions contradict mine, then you know, there. It's live. But I hope that you enjoy this video anyway, and I hope that maybe it might be helpful to one or two of you out there. <laughs> if it's crap compared to everyone else's, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's jump into it. So, because my channel is mainly theatre stuff, this is gonna be finding out your casting type for musicals mainly. And I mean, your casting type pretty much is your casting type anyway, but like, specifically for musicals, it is slightly different for TV and film and stuff. By the way, in case you don't know, your casting type is the kind of profile that you fit for when you go in for auditions, the things that casting directors will fit you into. Because there's obviously, you know, categories and things, and it's the category that you fall into in the theatre world as a performer. I know my casting type, but I think that I could do things out of my casting type, but these are the ones that I will be kind of brought in for auditions for. People are going to be like, well, I look like this, but I could do this. I get that, We're, we all feel like that, but there's only so much that casting directors will see you for. So it makes sense to find your casting type and really pursue that route rather than trying to change yourself. I personally, my casting type is like the crazy best friend, the comedy roles, the silly characters, the loud characters. I would never be cast as like a sexy role or an ingenue. You know, I would never play Julie Jordan. I would never play the softer character characters out there. It's, it's not something that I would be cast as, and although I could play it, and I could act that, and I could sing those roles, that's not what casting directors would pick me for, because there are people who can do it better. And even if I worked really hard, there'll still be people who are better, because that's not who I naturally am. If that makes sense. Anyway, segment rant over, let's actually jump into the video. So I think the first thing to do when you want to find out what your casting type is, is to look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. What ethnicity are you? How tall are you? How old are you? What is your weight like? What colour is your hair? These are all things that delineate what your casting type is. When you've done that, look at people who look like you. People in the theatre business who look like you, so other actors who have a similar face shape to you, a similar height, weight, skin colour, things like that. That helps you narrow it down. And then look at your personality. What do you naturally exude? I naturally exude quite a confident, wacky, crazy person. That's who I naturally am. Are you a strong, independent human? Are you shy? Are you more reflective? Once you've looked at those things, look at the characters who also kind of have those personality traits as well. Does that make sense? Next and this is for musical theatre ones, look at the sound of your voice. Do you sing in a legit style, which is like legato lines and, you know, kind of G and S, Rodgers and Hammerstein, Rodgers and Hart, those kinds of things. Do those kinds of musicals suit your voice more or are you a belter? Not even what you want to sing, is it what suits your voice? Is your voice type a strong female lead? Is it the kooky, crazy characters? Is it like rest? and like sexy and, and wild and rocker. Those again, finding that will help you pinpoint it even more. Look at yourself, compare yourself to others and where you fit in the business. Next it is important to look at what you could feasibly be cast in. Look at, say, The West End or Broadway. If you were to be cast in one of those shows, which would you automatically be able to be put in right away? You know, there's roles on The West End that I 100% can see myself playing, and there's so many out there that I'm just like, I would so not be right for. Bigger roles, smaller roles, it's just depending on what your actual cast type is and where you fit in the business, as I've said a million times. Next thing to do is to ask friends and family and teachers and things where they think that they would put you. This is a difficult one because I think that you should ask people who you trust and who you value their opinion of. If you say to your friends, what would you cast me in on Broadway? They might not cast you in the thing that you actually would be cast in. So I would ask teachers, things like that, or friends if they are reliable sources, if that makes sense. And then although I've said throughout this entire video all about comparing yourself to others and seeing where you fit in, when you've finally narrowed it down and found where your casting type is, what you then need to do is find out what separates you from the other people who have the same casting type as you. Because you go into an audition 
everyone else in the waiting area. All is going to look like you. They're probably going to have similar song choices because they are also your casting type. But you need to find out the thing that makes you stand out. Don't waste any time trying to be like anybody but yourself because the things that make you strange are the things that make you powerful. And it makes you special and separate from them because we are all different. And although we have casting type and brackets that we fit into and categories and things, we are all individuals and we need to shine. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope that video was helpful, maybe a little bit. If you have any questions or anything, let me know and I will try my best to answer them. Let me know what casting type you are. Let me know how you found out your casting type and all things like that down below and I will be down there chatting. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you with all of my heart. I'll see you soon.